Hi, my name is John from Japanese Knife Imports, and today we're going to go over micro bevels on your kitchen knives. Micro bevels are an interesting feature of your kitchen knives. In fact, many of your knives ship with them, and you may not even notice it. Uh, many of the makers do this because it adds extra strength to your edge and removes whatever weak or floppy piece of metal may be there at the end. A lot of us refer to this as the wire edge um, and spend a lot of time trying to remove it. Uh, instead of the approach that many of us have taken here in the U.S. of using felt and cork and whatever other tools we've uh, developed to remove the wire edge and the burr, the Japanese makers have thought that it's better to just remove the steel that's there altogether and leave with a strong clean edge and so they use a micro bevel for that. The micro bevel that they do I think is a little bit of a higher degree than what most people are used to in the US. Most people are used to maybe a few degrees higher than what they're sharpening at for their micro bevel. Uh, whereas Japanese makers are doing significantly higher. You'll see most micro bevels will be at like 30 to 45 degrees, something like this. And so when you consider that your normal sharpening is in this range over here, your micro bevel ends up being over here. So as you go through your normal sharpening, you're going to develop a burr on each side of the knife. You'll develop first on the first side, and then you'll switch to the other side. Mind you, I'm just kind of speeding things up here. Switch to the other side and develop the burr on this top side once again. Once you've developed a burr on both sides of the knife, you'll notice that there's still kind of a floppy piece of metal there at the end of your knife. And so you want to get rid of this. And so what we're going to do to do that is get a micro bevel on here. We're going to raise up our angle to about 30, 40, 45 degrees and come across our stone. Our micro bevel should only be done on the highest grit stone that we have and should only be about the width of a hair. It should look like a little hair at the edge of your knife. Doing the micro bevel is going to flip the burr back onto the other side of the knife and so you'll need to remove it. And generally speaking I do edge trailing strokes to do this. I do only a micro bevel on one side of the knife. I've found that doing a micro bevel on both sides of the knife actually hampers my performance more than it improves it. Uh, I find this to be true for both single and double bevel knives. So once you've kind of done your edge trailing stroke you'll go through one more time and clean up your micro bevel. Once more. And then you can remove the burr. We're going to use a piece of cork to do that today as we lightly slice through it a few times. You can use felt, you can use whatever it is, stropping that you use uh, to remove the burr of your knife um, and it should all work really well. And what you're left with is a very nice clean edge that has a lot of bite to it all the way through and will give you a lot of extra strength as you cut through foods. You'll see less of your edge failure and uh, it's actually more appropriate for many of your knives. So thank you very much for watching.